Brad Levitt, president of AFT Construction. Thank you for tuning into our YouTube channel today that is catered to builders, designers, architects, and honestly, any small business owners. So make sure you hit that subscribe button below and give us any comments for any topics that you want us to. The biggest question in construction is the budget, right? How do we make the budget work? How is that determined? Who dictates that? You know, how is that followed? How do you keep within budget? You know, these are all real important parts of the process of the building industry. And one, honestly, one of the hardest things we deal with, even as, you know, the experience we have, the database of projects and similarities in some of our clients, you know, this is something that's, you know, it's ever moving, you know, how much is a bag of groceries? Well, what do you put in that bag of groceries, right? That's always a, a good analogy there. So it depends on what you're shopping for, the finishes, you know, the tile work. Are we doing tile on all the walls in the bathroom? Are we doing on part of it? You know, how high is that going? What kind of countertops are we putting in? You know, are we putting wood flooring? Are we putting in tile, or carpet? You know, these are all little things that add up. And when you take this over thousands of decisions in a custom home, it can really escalate or de-escalate the price of the house. So the budget, where does it start and who derives that? Well, in a perfect world, as we mentioned, when you start a custom home, the homeowner is gonna interview and they're gonna hire their builder, architect, and designer. They're gonna get those three on board. The value of having all three on board is now it's, it's a collective process. We can work together as a team with the client's goal in mind. And at that point, it's really important for the client to convey of their budget. You know, Say, okay, Brad, I'm willing to spend $1 million on this house. I'm willing to spend $300,000 on this house. I'm willing to spend $5 million, whatever that number is. They need to determine what they're pre-qualified and comfortable with. You know, they may be pre-qualified for a million, but they may only want to spend 500,000, right? And so we have to really understand how much they're willing to invest in their home. Once we have that, at least a good feel of what that budget is, and if it's realistic, well, then we could go to phase two and we can figure out, okay, well, with the budget, what's the design we're gonna do? So is it gonna be super modern? Is it gonna be transitional, rustic, contemporary? It's a good idea to get a feel for their design with their Pinterest and Instagram and house photos. Now we can see if their budget aligns with their taste, right? Those are two things. And if it does, if they have a decent budget, you know, that's a million dollar budget and they're building a 2,500 square foot house and they have 400 dollars a square foot and we know from project, you know, our database that yeah, you can do this house at 400 a foot. Well, now we're, we can get to the, to the next phase, the design phase. And now it's really crucial that as the builder, we're breaking apart this budget. $400 a square foot is very arbitrary. It's hard to put that down and understand what that means. We may have a good feeling as a builder. I can assure you the clients have no idea. You know, even the ones that have built a lot, you know, they don't know what everything costs. Our architects don't either. Our designers are not doing it every day. So it's really important to break that down so we understand framing, tile, trim carpentry, you know, concrete, retaining walls. So we can start allocating costs based on the site conditions, based on the floor plan and then the exterior. One thing I like to do, if we have only $45,000 for exterior um, elements, you know, if it's stone or metal fascia or brick, you know, we have to make sure that we're only putting $45,000 of that project product on the exterior. You know, if we, only, if we can only do six accent walls of brick, then we better not wrap the whole house in brick. And so that's where from the budget side, if we have that up front, and we can go through that, then it helps us throughout the process as we're making sure everything is in line.